Hi, I'm Joe Tilly and welcome to Griffin Park. It's the third match of the week at our wonderful stadium. At half time today, the one and only Lloyd Arusa will be welcomed into the Brentford Hall of Fame. Yes, he's going to be here as well as a whole load of other Brentford legends. So what better time to answer Brentford fans? Who is their favourite Bees player of all time? Favourite Brentford player of all time would be Stan Bowles, a football legend. The one and only Billy Reeves. Good evening. Are there any Brentford players that have particularly moved your heart in the last few years that you've been covering them? I think um, my all-time favourite is obviously Jerry Cakebread, uh, because he was called Jerry Cakebread. So, young man, who is your favourite Brentford player? Alan Judge. Why is that then? Because he's got loads of skills and he scores loads of goals. Greg, you know and love Brentford, as we know, but is there one player in particular that captured your heart? Well, when I was a kid, Jim Towers, and in recent years, Lloyd Awusu. Who is here tonight? Is he here tonight? That's good news. <laughs> but star. What, what in particular did you like about Lloyd Awusu? Oh, he just, he ran the game. He knew. He knew. He was a great player. Who is your all-time favourite Brentford player? All-time favourite Brentford player? Well, being the academy manager, I've all, all, always got to look at the, play, the player that not only plays well on the pitch, but also shows a good attitude and sets a great example for the young players within the academy. And my favourite all-time player is a current captain of Brentford, who is Jake Bidwell. So, not Marcus Gale. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, you were a very popular player in your day, but who was one of your favourite Brentford players? Uh, I would say one of my favourite players was a winger like myself, but he was on the opposite side of me in, in every which shape and form. Um, Neil Smiley. Thiago Agua. And why is that? It's because he, every time he's on the ball, he reminds me of Yaya Torre. Where are you from? Yeah, from Norway. And who is your favourite Brentford player? Oh, Brentford player. Whoa. Whoa. I just uh, recently became a Brentford player yeah. a supporter right yeah. now. So, uh, we have no favourites. Uh, we love everybody on the team. So tonight we are going <laughs> to scream hi uh, for everybody. Yeah. Uh, Sergi Canos. Why is that? I think because he's so young and like so talented for his age. He's also quite good looking. So. <laughs> Lloyd Wees is here tonight. Did you know that? I didn't know that actually. He's actually my favourite player of all time. Um, he's one of the first I saw when I, when I started coming here. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. So why is that? Um, I, don't, I don't know exactly the, uh, the reason for it. I, I just kind of attached myself to one player when I was about five years old and he was the one everyone chanted for at the time. So, you know, childhood ambition, that kind of thing. Ian Lauder, going back to uh, Crikey, back in the 60s. Ian Lauder, the striker, uh, fantastic striker, underestimated by some, but uh, quality player and good on and off the pitch. So. That's my man. It's got to be Gary Blissett. Why is that then? Um, well, it goes back a long way. Him and Dean Holdsworth as a partnership up front, they were just awesome. It's got to be Gary Blissett for me. Putting that goal in to pass up in 92. And just after that, it's got to be Gary Blissett for me. It's really difficult because the year we were playing, we had some fantastic players. Obviously, Lloydie, um, Stevie Sidwell, um, Martin, I'm allowed to say Martin Rowlands, and without getting lynched. Um, Gavin Mann, fantastic players. Um, I think myself, Stephen Hunt was, was really good to play with on, on the pitch. But um, I think overall, I, 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 would, I would say Lordy was fantastic. Hey Lloyd, how does it feel to be back at Griffin Park? Yeah, kind of surreal, you know. I mean, I'm, I'm living in Australia now, so uh, it's different. But coming back here, seeing all the fans, it's great. It's great stuff. We've been asking them who their favourite Brentford player of all time is, and quite a few people have said you. How does that feel? Oh, mate, you know, for me, the fans here were the, the number one. That's, that is the reason why I believe I was so successful here, you know. But the fans that we had here, they got behind myself and my teammates all them years, and they were just top, top draw, and I, I appreciate everything that they've done for me. And the big question is, who is your favourite Brentford player of all time? Oh, wow, my, I would say, in regards to my, I've, in regards to saying favourite, or I feel like my best player that I played with was Gavin Munn. Uh, just his all-round game, when he came, when we got him from Hereford, his all-round game was just unbelievable. He just c commanded the game, he, he commanded the boys, and he had a lot of respect, and he was a great player. And you had a song sang about you. Can you sing us the song? Uh, from the Status Quo, yeah, the guys from Status Quo made a song about me. John Rhino made a song called The One and Only, The One and Only Arusu, so uh, that was quality, so I, I, feel, I feel privileged that they've done that. Yeah. And uh, what was your celebration again? Just raising the roof, just always used to raise the roof, so hopefully I'll get the fans at half-time. <laughs> yeah, we'll 
Yeah, yeah I do remember the song. The song that... Uh, but I couldn't sing it for you. Oh. And uh, a song? We should definitely have a song. Yeah. Uh, Bradford, 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 are gonna win, are gonna win, are gonna win, 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 win. They're gonna scream that all uh, match alone.